Um, types of discrimination. Okay, I mentioned this earlier as well, and I want to unpack it here. There's legal forms of separating your, your applicants. There's illegal forms of separating your applicants. We need to make sure we're not illegally doing any sort of separation. And so it goes like this, okay? The legal discrimination that you do day in and day out, loan to values, debt to incomes, debt service coverage, residual income, credit scores, there's a big one, right? These are all forms of legal ways to slice and dice your customers, okay? But, hey, sometimes these legal forms of discrimination can often, they can border on and cross over into illegal forms of discrimination. So let me give you an example. Number five listed there is credit score, right? I'm guessing you all use credit scores day in and day out. You pull credit reports, they got a credit score on it. You've got a threshold and it's pretty cut and dried above or below whether or not it qualifies. Now I know there's other factors, but credit score is a legal way to discriminate, to decide whether or not to make a loan. But if you take that credit score and somehow it finds its way back to one of the eight factors that we talked about previously, that's gonna create a problem for you. Okay? And it happens more often than you would think. I'll give you an example. So we have some financial institutions out there that we've walked into and they're like, yeah, we use credit score. It's a legit thing, right? Everybody uses it. Yeah, but how you're using it is a problem. You might they say, well, what do you mean? Well, it looks to me, okay, it appears that when you have married applicants, you are taking the higher of the two credit scores in your weighting factor as to whether or not you make the loan or how you figure out what the interest rate is or you know whatever the loan factor is. They're, if they're married applicants, you're using the higher score. But if you have two unmarried applicants, you're just going with the first one on the application. And we see this time and time again. And everybody goes, well, what do you mean? Hey, what's wrong with that? It, 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 you know, we're, we've got this thing when they're, you know, when they're married, we take the higher because they're together. But when they're not married, we just take the first one. It's just a simple approach, right? Yeah, but what's it tied back to? And you've heard me say it several times already. You're using credit score, but what's it tied to? Marital status. You can't do that. Okay. We have uh, financial institutions where they've, uh, again, it ties back to marital status. When they're not married, they'll take the higher of the two incomes. But if they're married, I'm sorry, if they're married, they'll take the, the both incomes. Okay. And if they're not married, they'll take the higher of the two. Again, it's tied to marital status. You can't do that. So be careful with the things that are legal, that they're not somehow tied back to something that's illegal, because that will get you in trouble as well.